Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel notes from Underground by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Before proceeding further I request you to please subscribe our channel and like the video, also comment your favorite books and novel so that I can provide summary for it, now let's start with the summary. The themes of the novel are The characters in the novel are Notes from Underground explores the mind of an unnamed narrator who is a retired civil servant living in St. Petersburg. The novel is divided into two parts, the first is a monologue where the narrator, an embittered and isolated man, reflects on his life and society with intense cynicism. The second part tells a series of stories from his past, revealing his inability to connect with others and his deep self-loathing. Dostoevsky delves into themes of free will, existential angst, and the conflict between individual desires and societal expectations. The narrator's inner turmoil and contradictions reflect broader questions about human nature and the meaning of existence. The novel begins with a monologue by the unnamed narrator, who calls himself the Underground Man. He is a retired civil servant living in St. Petersburg, Russia. The underground man presents himself as a bitter, disillusioned, and isolated individual. He begins by addressing his readers, explaining that he is writing his thoughts down in a diary to share his inner world. His writings are divided into two parts, underground and apropos of the wet snow. In the first part, the underground man critiques the rationalist ideas of the Enlightenment, particularly the belief that human behavior can be predicted and controlled through reason. He argues that people are driven by irrational desires and will often act against their own best interests, even when they know better. He expresses disdain for the idea of a perfect, utopian society, asserting that such theories are naive and ignore the complexities of human nature. The underground man reveals his own self-loathing and alienation. He describes himself as a man of contradiction, full of self-awareness yet incapable of changing his behavior. He confesses that he hates his own weaknesses and the fact that he cannot act on his ideals. His life is marked by indecision and paralysis, leading him to retreat from the world and live in isolation. In this section, the underground man elaborates on his views about society and human nature. He is particularly critical of the notion that people are inherently good and can be improved through social reforms. He argues that human nature is fundamentally flawed and that attempts to reform society are doomed to failure because they ignore the inherent contradictions within individuals. The underground man also discusses the concept of free will, asserting that it is more important than the pursuit of happiness or the establishment of a perfect society. He believes that people will always seek to assert their free will, even if it means acting against their own best interests. This belief is a source of his own misery, as he feels trapped in a cycle of self-destructive behavior. The underground man's reflections reveal his deep-seated resentment towards those who live their lives according to societal norms and expectations. He envies their ability to live with purpose and certainty even though he believes their lives are ultimately meaningless. He feels that his own life, marked by introspection and self-doubt, is superior in its complexity and depth. The underground man recounts an event from his past involving a young prostitute named Liza. He describes how he met her in a brothel, where he was struck by her innocence and vulnerability. Despite his initial feelings of contempt towards her, he becomes intrigued by her and decides to attempt to help her. The underground man invites Liza to his apartment, where he tries to offer her some money and a chance to escape her current life. However, his offer is laced with condescension and a desire to assert his moral superiority. Liza is initially grateful but soon becomes aware of the underground man's true motivations. She recognizes that his offer is not genuine and that he is merely trying to manipulate her to soothe his own conscience. 
Their interaction is marked by a series of emotional confrontations. The underground man tries to justify his actions by explaining that he is motivated by a desire to help Liza, but his behavior betrays his own selfishness. Liza, on the other hand, expresses her own anger and frustration at being used as a means for someone else's self gratification. The encounter ends with Liza leaving the underground man's apartment in tears. Despite his initial attempts to act as her savior, he ultimately fails to understand her needs and desires. This episode highlights the disconnect between the underground man's ideals and his actual behavior, as well as his inability to form genuine connections with others. In the final part of the novel, the underground man reflects on his past actions and their impact on his present state. He recounts a series of events from his life that illustrate his ongoing struggles with self-worth and social alienation. He revisits his failures and regrets, including his inability to achieve any meaningful goals or make positive changes in his life. The underground man's reflections are filled with a sense of resignation and futility. He recognizes that his own actions have contributed to his unhappiness and that he is trapped in a cycle of self-destructive behavior. Despite his awareness of these patterns, he feels powerless to break free from them. As the novel concludes, the underground man remains a figure of isolation and despair. His philosophical musings and personal revelations provide insight into his complex and contradictory nature but they also highlight the limitations of his self-awareness. He continues to grapple with his own sense of inadequacy and the inherent contradictions of human existence.